Hmm? Why? <sighs> no, it won't even budge. Ah! The hell is that? Formaldehyde solution with a pig. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. Ugh. We're in the bio lab, right? So there's a bunch of biological research here. Jeez, this place is really creepy. Why is something like this in a bomb shelter? Maybe the builders thought to be prepared for some kind of pandemic. Pandemic? An infectious disease that hits on a global scale. It's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak. Maybe this place is an isolated location for researching all kinds of viruses like that. Oh, okay. Or maybe Zero put it here in order to do something to us. Like what? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. Ugh. Um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? It's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. Four and a half hours? They knocked us out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that, but if Zero erased our memories? Of course, we wouldn't remember. No. What's this? Slash the pig's stomach. Whoa! For real? Would that mean that we... Probably. Why? Why do we have to do something like that? I have no idea, but it's not like we really have a choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said.
Thank you. 
survival or life-saving treatment. However, the taxi got into an accident before reaching its destination. It collided with a large truck. The result of Red once read this. Sadly, as a result of this accident, the driver and surgeon died, as well as the young boy waiting for surgery. What is the point of him telling us this story? It's just some kind of act, right? Probably doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. Now then, let's begin our game, shall we? The rules are as follows. A pig stomach you cut open contain three syringes. Each of them is filled with a specific virus called Radical 6. Radical 6? This virus is special. It awakens a desire to kill oneself, among other things. Once infected, symptoms appear as early as 10 minutes, or take up to 2 hours. And the host soon finds the urge to commit suicide irresistible. <laughs> the mortality rate is 75%. Transmitted through liquids, it's highly contagious. Oh yes, I believe you located a set of documents during your search of this room. The set of files on FBR, the fanatic bio R virus. The mortality rate of this virus is 100%. Infection results in blood erupting from your body. virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. What is he talking about? If I had foreseen that you would all choose to inject radical sex at this moment, I would have made sure to cope That device over there? Oh, I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like a prick. So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? On the other hand, if I saw that you were not going to inject yourselves with radical sex, then I would be sure to leave the needle with you. That way, you would not become infected with fanatic by far. Wait, what? What are you saying? So wait, do we even need to choose? Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this Radical Six, we're already infected with FBR. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Huh? He's saying, what if he's lying about being psychic? Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do?
Maybe you, we shouldn't. Yeah, right? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said, if Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't have powers. The important thing to determine is if we're actually infected with FP Hawk. So you don't think we are then? No. In fact, a virus called Fanatic Bio R existing in the first place is very suspicious. Radical Six sounds just as fantastical. No. There's no doubt that Radical Six is real. I've heard of it before. Well, it could be that Zero wants us to become infected with Radical Six. But instead of doing it himself, for some reason he is unable to. So he needs us to do it ourselves then. Hey, what the? The door. It opened. Let's get out of here. If we're too slow, then the door might up and close on us. Wait, Eric. <laughs> hey, Mira, what are you doing? must have been right not to inject it. I still feel okay, and more importantly, the door opened for us. There's still another possibility, you know. That Zero really does have the ability to see the future. If it's true, then we would have been right if we had injected the needles too. Hey, did you tell the truth earlier? About what? About Radical Six being real. Oh. Um, yeah. How do you know about it? Well, I'm not sure. Did you get any more suspicious? I know what I know, okay? I can't help that. So why not share? Tell us more about this Radical Six virus. More. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start. How about its name? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Aside from triggering intense suicidal impulses, Radical Six causes the infected's thought process to reduce by one root six. Therefore, when one second passes for them, the world has gone through root six seconds, or roughly 2.45 seconds. There is also the word radical. Aside from meaning things like extreme, it can also refer to a radical root. Get it? Oh, so that's why it's Radical Six. But is it really possible for thought speed to be slowed down like that? Yep. The infected, through changes in DNA methylation and histomodification, gain epigenetic mutations in the control mechanisms of their genetic expressions. Uh, wait! Could you maybe simplify that, please? Oh, the body's composition changes as a genetic switch is flipped? More or less. A genetic... Switch? Hmm. Uh, let's try this. A common scientific thought, until now, was that parental characteristics didn't transfer. Recent research has changed that. We now know that they can be, by flipping certain genetic switches. Well, regardless of what kind of experiences the parents had to go through, their DNA blueprints won't change. But within that expansive DNA coding, the question of what should be read seems to change based on experience. The change becomes especially apparent when the parent's lives are in danger. Like maybe if someone was trapped in a shelter and forced to risk their life. So if Eric and I did the horizontal tango right now, the baby might end up psychic. What? Anyway, so if Radical Six really does flip the genetic switch... Hey, are you listening? Uh, yeah. So, 
you're basically saying this Radical Six virus is super dangerous, right? Yes, there's no doubt it is. So, Zero said earlier that Radical Six transmits through bodily fluids and is highly infectious. If someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then... Then... Mankind? Six billion people? will die. Six billion? Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X-Passes will be revealed. Fire, crash, five, that is all. What the hell? C-Team is dead? It's obviously because of the vote. The vote? At 1330. Then... But wait. Did everyone from C-Team really die? We haven't seen their corpses or anything. They might still be alive. No. They're dead. I'm sure of it. Why? Because. He's right. I don't think they're alive. You too, Mira? Uh... What do you think, old man? C-Team's gotta be alive, right? What are you doing, Eric? He's not gonna answer you. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he... Can speak? Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Let's do it. Why? Here to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said. If Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't. Our fate can go four different ways if that's the situation. If we are infected with FBR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six. Or not. If we aren't infected with SDR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six. Or not. The important thing we need to remember, though, is the mortality rates. Zero said the casualty rate is 75% for the Radical Six virus. And we saw in the files that death is 100% confirmed for Fnatic Bio R. So we can use that to determine Clear which option is best, right? I see. The probability that we're infected with FBR is 2 to 1. Which means, if we inject Radical 6, our survival rate is half of 125, 62.5%. And if we don't inject it, then our chance is sitting at 50%. Any objections? Then we know what to do. Okay, here we go. Ready? And... So are we good? Did we do the right thing? 
The lab door opened afterwards, so we must have. Do you feel any different? No, not really. So, I guess? <laughs> Hey, Eric. I've thought this before, but, well, your laugh is kind of strange. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess this is, well, sort of a bad habit I've had since I was a kid. What do you mean? Issues at home, I guess. Was your family difficult? That's just it. We were completely normal. A kind mom, a clumsy dad. And an annoying little brother. <laughs> oh dear, what's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. I've just been crying. Hey, you two. Mind telling mommy why you're crying? <laughs> Chris broke my toy! Listen to me, okay? When painful or sad things happen, people get angry or cry because of them. But even at those times, I want you to never forget to smile. Smile? Yes, smile. No matter how painful things get, as long as you can face it with a smile, happiness will come to you. Smiles have a strange power. Really? Yes, really. And that's not all. A smile can make everyone all around you happy, too. You too, Hoppy? You'll be happy, too? Of course. So why don't you two stop fighting and show Mommy your smile? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> you sure are something else. Hey, what about me? Did Daddy get some smiles, too? Oh, dear. It looks like Daddy's lonely, you two. Let's all give him a whole lot of smiles. Okay! okay. Get over here for a hug. <laughs> oh, you've gotten big. Me, too. Me, too. Okay. Okay. Come at me. I'm ready. Yay! <laughs> Mom always told us to never forget to smile. She'd never hurt a bug. Not even if a line of ants crossed her path. She was that kind and gentle. She was incredible. And when we lost her, that's when Dad changed. Shut the hell up! Who said you could fucking cry? Chris! Oh, Jesus, Eric! Can't you even look after your shitty little brother? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Forgive me! Please forgive me! Go! Fucking kids. Hey! Go find someone to get me beer! Don't cry. Don't get mad. You better always smile, was what Dad liked to say. But unlike Mom, he was never not angry with us. Eventually, I figured out how to smile, regardless of what was going on. Just smiling day in and day out. No fun. Not happy. I'd be made fun of, or yelled at. And no matter the pain, no matter how bad it was, I never raised my voice. I just kept smiling. I didn't stop, even after Dad fell ill and died. So I guess the two smiles, one taught by my mom and one forced by my dad, got kind of mixed up, and the result is what I pasted on my face. Eric, she's... 
I've never talked to anyone about all of this before, but... Mira, will you still love me? Even with me being like this? How dumb can you get? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't even have to ask, did I? Eric, thanks for sharing that. It wasn't like I did it for you or anything. It just sort of came out, that's all. Yeah, still, thanks. To tell the truth, I just didn't want to end up like my father. So I forced my mouth to keep smiling through everything. But it's no use. The worst part of me still came to the front after we got trapped here. I pushed all of that on you, too. Don't worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So, you never mentioned you had a younger brother. Yeah. About your age, more or less. What? We're the same age? Oh, maybe we could be friends. Would it be okay if I met him after we get out? Um, well... Uh, anyway, sorry I turned the mood dark. <laughs> <laughs> you turned the mood. Oh, your jokes always crack me up, Eric. Huh? I mean, to think that was dark. You really have a sense for these things. I, don't worry, listening to it was a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What makes you think that was all a joke? Uh-huh. It was such a sad story. He just told us he's been holding in this painful past the whole time. How is that a joke? Oh, <laughs> I just didn't think to make a mistake like that. A mistake? I'm so sorry. I've always been clumsy. It's at times like these that I, I don't even know how to look, you know? Clumsy? Hey, Eric. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mira.